the the big thing I like to focus, you know, we, we can give you a checklist of all the things you should do on your site, but the thing I think, especially um, kind of new internet marketers should focus on the most is keyword research. And the basic idea here is we use third party tools to figure out how people are searching for things. Um, and I like to do, uh, we did the same thing at PayPal and Airbnb, and I do this on my business now, and I, I've done this for family, friends, businesses, or local coffee shops. But you can use keyword research to do what's called total addressable market sizing. You, you look at the whole universe of potential keywords your customers are Googling, and you, you create content around that, right? So I like to overinvest in this part of the process. Um, so, you know, uh, mental health practitioner, um, Traverse City, Michigan, right? And how many people are searching for that? That's that's cl- like a, a bottom funnel um, sort of keyword, but you can go up and up and up and up, like you know, um, marital, you know, marital like marriage problem, counseling, right? or yeah, but but even higher, higher, sort of moving up in the funnel, you could go even higher, right? Like um, uh, difficulty talking with wife, right? Or mm. uh, children. When should you leave your spouse? <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. So. Um, you sort of do all, you can do this entire universe of stuff, right? And um, the basic idea here is by over-investing in this, it's it's not even just an SEO play. The keyword research I really love because it's a, a lot of bloggers and new business owners and um, people just getting started on their business, the way they go out and create content for their site is like, it's like the shower thought process. Like they wake, they go take a shower and they're like, Hey, I should write about this. And I really don't like that. I I like taking a much more quantitative approach where you're looking at the, at demand. You're looking at what you're looking at trying to lay out how people are Googling things and then solving your customers problems there. And you can create that content in all aspects of it. So the basic idea is you get a, you, when you do this total addressable market sizing with keyword research, you lay out the entire universe of possible things your customers are Googling, and then you create content that answers it. And it's not just SEO. It gives you a better idea of how should I position my business, right? What, what kind of product should I be offering? Um, sh- what kind of customers should I be targeting? And you can use this content again and again and again and again. It can be YouTube content, it can be your email marketing, you can post it on social media. Uh, it's not just driving traffic from from Google and people searching on their desktop. It can be used for a lot of different things. So we could talk about the actual mechanics of how to get that page ranking, whether or not you should put the keyword in your title and your heading and in your images and things like that. But I think the, b- the basic big takeaway for, for um, for people just getting started is you want to overinvest in keyword research at the beginning because it can set your entire digital marketing strategy.